back this is csec now and i'll be going through this 2019 uh chemistry paper one without do further said guys make sure you guys do drop a like and subscribe to the channel we're getting we'll get into the answer real fast guys all right number one it says which of the following processes demonstrated that matter is made up of minutes particles and it has to do with diffusion number two in the notation 30 35 of the 17 ci the subscript 17 what does it represent and it represents the atomic number all right number three from the table below which of the substance represent by the options a b c and d is most likely sodium chloride and it has to do with c for the substance guys for the boiling point we have 1465 and for the solid state we have no solid state and for the aqueous aqueous state we do have the aqueous state all right number four it says the soft whose sub subilities changes to the greatest extent in the temperature range it from zero degrees celsius to 60 degrees is and it has to do with potassium nitrate all right number five which of the following substance supplies protons as positive ions aqueous solution and it has to do with acid number six Crystal of sodium chloride are best described as and it best described as I ion I'm sorry ionic ionic all right number seven the ionic equation for the re, for the reaction between uh, acid and carbon carbonate is represented by and represented by it has to do right here guys so we have hydrogen right here aqueous plus and we have the formula this is a chemical um, reaction formula so we have two two hydrogen right here aqueous and plus co3 and then we have aqueous here co2 g um h2 hydrogen zero o one all right number eight it says when 100 um centimeter cubic of two ml dm3 hydrogen chloric acid in the excess in the excess are added to 5.0 oh grams of granulated zinc. Hydrogen gas is involved at a certain rate if 5.0 oh grams of powdered zinc were used instead. The rate of production of hydrogen gas would and it would increase because the increase because it would increase because of the increased surface of the powdered zinc. So the answer would be B, guys. For number nine. The element X has electronic um, configuration of 281. At which at which of the following position is the element in the periodic table? So for this one, the answer would be periodic um, period three and group one. Alright, guys. For number 10, we have it right here. It says uh, which of the which of the following properties refers to neurons? All right, so neurons, guys, would have to do, would have no relative charges, right? And then for the approximately mass, would have like one mass. All right, so the answer would be B for the um the properties above that ref uh, that represent neurons. or I uh, mean refers to neurons. All right, for which of the pro properties above refers protons? So let's we see, guys. Protons is the opposite. Neurons is the is the reverse of it right so for the protons guys we have one so for the relative charge we have a positive charge and we have a one uh, mass here all right number 12 it says two solutions are mixed in order to demonstrate an ethermic change which of the following techniques would be most appropriate and it has to do with take taking temperature reading all right guys Number 13, sulfur, sulfur and sulfur and oxygen are in the same group of periodic table because and because they have the same number of electronic in their outer shell. All right, guys. Number 14, it says how many moles of eton, etonic acid are required to produce 0.5 mole of the ether? And it has to do with 0 0.5. All right, guys. Most of these questions are repeat questions. Hope you guys are getting the answers correctly. All right. Number 15. It says, which of the following component is a 
covalent. A covalent has to do with a hydrogen chloride. All right, guys. Number sixteen. It says uh, refers to the following acids here. So we're gonna use any of these acids to match the above right statement here, guys. So number sixteen says which of the which of the acid above has the basic of two. All right. So the basic of two would has to do with sulfuric acid. All right, guys. And it says number seventeen. Which of the acid above is weakly ionic, ionic in aqueous solution, and it has to do with e ethonic acid. All right, guys. So for number seventeen is ethonic acid. Number eighteen. Which of the following reacts with an with re reacts with an with, with an acid liberating a gas which turns lime water milky, and it has to do with calcium carbonate. Number nineteen. Which of the which of the following gases has no reaction has no reaction in the moist litmus paper and it has to do with hydrogen number 20 which of the following properties increase across period 3 and periodic table and it has to do with the, op the atomic number all right number 21 we have solution of iron to sulf sulfate was added until in excess to the solution in barium nitrates the pre <coughs> precipitate um, produce was filtrate of and water uh, was added to the residue in the filter paper. So it says what color of the precipitate um, was produced and it has to produce with white. White, all right? This was white, guys. All right, number 22. What mass of oxygen atoms con contain the same number of moles as 112 grams of sulfur atoms? And it has to do with 56, 56 grams, perhaps. All right, guys. Number 23, it says the bond between two carbon atoms is, and the bond between two quantum um, atoms, it has to do with double. All right, guys, it's a double. All right, number 25, a catalyst increased the rate of reaction because it, and it provides alternate route of lower activation energy. Number 26, we show the following reactions occur between propane and bromine, and it has to do with addition. All right, number 27, FEC2, um, FECCI3 are two chloride chlorides of iron. Which of the following statements up, um, about these two chlorides, chlorides of iron are true? So first one, guys, we would have the percentage of iron by mass in two chlorides is different. That is right. Second one, the color of the aqueous solution of the two chlorides are different and that is right as well so we'd have i and two guys all right number 28 it says when solid leads nitrate is heated it decomposes giving off nitrogen all right oxide and oxygen the balance equation for the reaction is and the answer would be a guys for this one all right, i hope you guys um studying the pattern most of these questions are repeat guys all right number 29 when metal atoms become iron, it's and it lose electro elect lose electrons and, and oxidize. All right? Number 30. It says a solution of sodium hydrogen is neutralized by addition of dilute hydro hydro hydrochloric acid. The results obtained are used to plot the graph below. So right here it says which of the which of the point on the graph above represent neut neutralization point of the reaction. And it has to do with Q right here, guys. As you guys could see, right here is the reaction. Neutralization. Alright. Number 31. It says refers to the following apparatus, which is used to measure relative conductivity of various substance. Alright? So it says 31. If the substance contains one mule and solute per BM third, um or investigate which substance should cause the bulb to glow brighter so it simply mean what would cause the bulb to glow brighter guys and it has to do with sulfuric acid all right sulfuric acid guys hope you guys get in this one right here we have um we have some diagrams right here and it representing to the bonding as it occurs in certain compounds so right here guys it says which of the diagram illustrated bond bonding in chlor chloride so the one that's bonding in chloride would has to do with D, guys. This one. Alright? Bonding in chloride. Alright. 
For number 33, it says which of the diagram illustrating bonding in oxygen. So let's look for the one that's bonding in oxygen. And we'd have this, guys, B. All right? Bonding in oxygen. Hope you guys could see. Hope you guys studying the pattern as well. Number 34. We should the following process correctly describe the reaction above. All right? So as you guys could see, this is a neutralization all right it's, it refers to a neutralization i don't really have much time to explain this guys but i will just go through this paper quick as possible as i can all right because you know you guys have exams number 35 a compound when treated with concentrated hydro hydrochloric acid gives the greenish yellow gas which bleach moist red litmus paper the gas given off is and it's chlorine all right number 36 which, re which reaction involved in the boiling of fat or oil, aqueous, sodium, hydro hydro hydroxide, caustic soda? And it has to do with sap saponification, all right? Saponification, all right? All right, number 37. A current of 5 ampere was passed for 193 seconds through a solution of copper, right? Sulfate using copper, electronics, Ram Cu sixty five for the constant F nine nine hundred and six wait sorry ninety six thousand five hundred right all right so it says the mass of a copper that would gain the and it would gain the the kit the ketoid in zero point three two five grams all right number thirty eight it says the compound eating eating is described as being unsaturated. This means that the molecules contain at least one double bond. So that is what it means. They mean leaten, right, guys? It's contain. It contain the molecules contain at least one double bond. All right. Number thirty-nine. It says which of the following metal will react most vigorously with dilute acid, and it has to do with zinc. Number forty. Trying to get through this question real fast, guys. All right. It says which of the following. Which of the following method is used the ex the extraction extraction sorry of aluminum and it has to do with electronized elect electron electronics and its molten oxide right number forty one so which of the following metal is important constituents of the chlorophyll and it has to do with magnesium number forty two which of the following options lists all the raw material used in the extraction of iron and the raw material are air Oak, iron, or and limestone. All right, guys. So those are raw uh, material. Number forty-three. We show the following compound may use to counteract the effect of acid rain on soil, and it has to do with B, guys. All right, B is the answer for this one. All right, number forty-four. We show the following are uh, most likely to identify P and Q. So P right here and Q, and it has to do with this one, as you guys can see, we have H H H C C C C H H, and this is a whole pattern right here. So we, this is basically, as you can see, is, is forming alcohol, right? And this one right here, this one is an ester. All right, guys. So it's D for the answer, alcohol and ester. All right, number forty-five. All right. So we still have a pattern right here, guys. A formula for X. So it says, what is the correct structure formula for X? So for X right here, for right here, guys, X right here. All right, so the formula would be B, guys. All right. Trying to get through this real fast. Number 46. It says, um, which of the compound above has fruity odor? And a fruity odor would be C, guys. All right. Number 47, which of the compound above react with sodium carbonate to produce a gas which turn lime water milky? And it has to do with A, guys, right here. All right. Number 48, so which of the following produces when carbon monoxide react with iron, oxide? And it has to do with, <clears throat> sorry, the answer would be D, guys, all right. Number 49, Xn is um, alkane with six carbon atoms. Per, mon per monocles, right? Which of the following is a formula of hexane? And it has to do with, right here, guys. Answer is B for this one. 
Number 50. It says a compound 1, 2 are known as. And the compound it got for compound 1. Right here. The isomers. Alright. And compound 2 of CH8. Oh, all right. Number 51. Steel is often used in place of iron because it and it's stronger. All right. This one is a repeat as well, guys. Number 52. Show the following statements is a through of alkenes. So, one, you react with KMNO, NO4 plus hydrogen, positive hydrogen right here. All right. And it's also they are undergo additional reactions. All right, number 53, which of the following tests can be dis distinguished between alkanine and alkane? All right, so alkanine and alkane, and it has to do with adding bromine solution. All right, number 54, what type of reaction occur when zinc metal is added to copper sulfate solution? It has to do with displacement. Number 55, it says, during the manufacture of ethyl, and fermentation, the gas evolves and it turns lime water cloudy. Number 56, which of the following is a natural source of hydrocarbons and it has to do with petroleum. All right, number 57, all members of Omoglor's series has similar and has to do with chemical properties. All right, we get in there, guys. Number 58, which of the following is a re reason adding, sorry, adding. Chlorides to pure alumina in um, extraction of aluminum by electronics and it has to do with the lower the melting point. All right, number 59. Which of the following substance is produced at the halogenation? Sorry, the halogenation um, reacts with methane and it has to do with hydrogen chloride. Number 60. Which of the following compound is not formed from condensation, um, poly polymerization, and it has to do with polyalkanes all right so without do further said guys um thank you guys for watching this video i want to give a big shout out to all of you guys been supporting my channel and watch the videos without do further said make sure you guys do share the video with your friends if you miss anything in this video guys you guys could feel free um to watch back this video over again but i'll do further said good luck in your exam and thanks for making it with csec no all right